Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to share some DIY aesthetic bookmark ideas with you which I think you're going to like, so let's get started. For making the first bookmark, I cut out an 18 by 5.5 cm rectangular piece of brown cardstock. I took this piece of paper from a magazine which we're about to trim to a slightly smaller size than the cardstock. I'm folding the paper like so to make creases and tearing the edges. I'm leaving a bit of space at the top to punch a hole later. To give it sort of vintage paper look, I added a tiny bit of beige to white acrylic paint and then we're going to dry brush it. I'm diluting black acrylic paint and then I'm placing another brush under it and tapping it to flick the paint onto the paper. Using Mod Podge, we're going to adhere the paper to the cardstock. To seal it in place, I'm applying a very thin layer of Mod Podge on the top. Now that the Mod Podge is dry, I'm roughly drawing the outline of a poppy flower. Then we're going to fill in the shape with Mod Podge, making sure the glue stays within the outline. I'm taking some gold leaf and pressing it onto the area where we applied Mod Podge. The Mod Podge is now dry and we're going to remove the extra gold leaf. Then I'm using a brush to clean it up. Now we're going to take black acrylic paint and outline the edges of the flower. Then I'm defining the petals like so. Finally, we're going to paint the stem. After locating the center, I'm making a hole at the top with a hole punch. Then I'm cutting a piece of black faux leather cord and folding it in half. I'm pulling the loop through the back of the bookmark and then I'm putting the ends into the loop and pulling them tight to make a lark's head knot. I'm trimming the ends to make them even and I'm also cutting them at a 45 degree angle to give them a little more definition. For the next DIY, I cut out this rectangular piece of white cardstock. Using vanilla acrylic paint, I'm painting the entire paper. I'm planning to go for two coats for a better finish. Using light brown paint, I'm painting a blob at the top like so. Then I'm going ahead and filling in the shape. This way, I'm going to paint some more blobs of different colors and shapes. I thought of going for shades of brown with a pop of gray, however, you can pick any color palette you like. Using white acrylic paint, I'm painting a set of tiny oval shapes like this. I'm painting the pattern in such a way that half of it lies on the blob and the rest half of it lies on the background. I drew a line art of a cup of coffee. Now I'm taking a piece of parchment paper and tracing the line art onto it. Then I'm placing it on the paper and taping it down to hold it in place. Using a needle, I'm poking holes through the paper following the line art. I'm also trying to equally space them out. Now it's time to do some embroidery on it. We are going to take black embroidery floss and tie a double knot at the end. I'm going to do back stitching and for that let's call the first three needle holes as point 1, 2 and 3. To start off I'm bringing the needle up through point 2 and pulling the thread. Then I'm sending the needle down through point 1. After that I'm poking the needle up through point 3 and pulling the thread. Then again I'm sending the needle down through point 2. In the same way, we are going to continue doing the stitches following the needle perforations. You can also skip the embroidery work if you want, instead you can just draw the line art with a black sharpie or acrylic paint. Once the embroidery is done, I am going to turn it over and tie a couple of knots at the back to secure everything. We are also going to make a tassel for this bookmark. So I am wrapping black embroidery floss around my fingers for about 50 times. Then I'm taking a piece of thread and tripling it to make it thicker. I'm sending it under the loops and tying a double knot. Now I'm making the head of the tassel by wrapping a piece of thread for 10 to 15 times and then tying a double knot. To 
To finish off, I'm cutting the loops and trimming the ends to level them. Then we're going to punch a hole at the bottom and tie the tassel. And we have our line art embroidery bookmark ready. For making the next bookmark, I'm going to use this clear plastic piece I had in my stash. Now we're going to trim it to a length of 17 cm and width of 5 cm. I'm going to be using this clear packing tape later so we want the width of the plastic piece to be around the same as the tape. Then I'm taking some dried pressed flowers and placing them on the plastic. After arranging them, I'm applying little dots of Mod Podge on the back of the flowers to hold them in place. We are going to take some glitter and sprinkle them evenly over the plastic. Then I'm taking the clear tape and attaching it to the plastic. After pressing the tape firmly, I'm going to trim the extra edges. Now I'll cut a rectangle of 18 cm by 6 cm out of this white cardstock. I'm going to cut out frames for this plastic piece, so we want the edges of the frame to partially cover the edges of the plastic sheet. So I want the frame to be about 1 cm wide. Using a pair of scissors, I'm cutting out the frame. Now using this frame as a guide, we're going to trace and cut out another frame. To paint the frames, I'm going to be using this lavender blue acrylic paint. I'm turning it over and painting the edges a little bit to prevent any unpainted areas from being visible when we glue the frames together. Also, I'm applying two coats of paint to give the frames a better finish. Now, I'm squeezing out a tiny bit of hot glue and spreading it around the edge with the nozzle of the glue gun. This is meant to seal the edges to prevent the tape from detaching. I'm applying a very small amount of hot glue and distributing it evenly along the edges to make sure the glue doesn't get clumpy. Now, I'm grabbing one of the frames and turning it over. Then, I'm placing the transparent piece on it and hot gluing it down. We want to work in small sections and apply a very thin layer of hot glue. Then I'm placing the other frame on the top. After making sure the edges line up, I'm applying two pieces of tape on each side like so to hold it in place. Then we're going to go ahead and hot glue the top frame as well. This finishes off our pressed flowers bookmark. I totally love how cute and aesthetic it turned out. For the last bookmark, I'm taking a white cardstock and placing a lid on it to trace a semicircle. Using a ruler, I'm drawing the shape of an arched door. I also drew the details on it including the glass panels, letter slot and doorknob. I'm trying to achieve an emerald green color to paint the door. So I'm trying to mix the colors together until I get the shade I want to go for. Now we're going to go ahead and paint the door. Also, I'm going for two coats of paint. Then I'm making the same color a little more dark and adding the shadows. I'm adding shadows around the glass panels to add more dimension. I'm also painting the horizontal slats and the shadows to add more depth. For filling in the panels, I'm using a light grey acrylic paint. To paint the doorknob and the letter slot, I'm using a gold paint. Then I'm adding the details on the letter slot with a dark brown paint. I'm also planning to add a wreath, so I'm roughly sketching out a circle. Then I'm going in with a dark brown acrylic paint and painting over the circle. This is going to be the frame of the wreath. Using a sage green paint, I'm painting some tiny leaves all the way around. Then we're going to use 3 to 4 different colors to paint some roses on it. 
First, I'm just painting small dots with these colors. Then I'm painting tiny spiral circles on them to define the petals. For the finishing touches, I'm taking a dark green paint and defining the midrib of the leaves. This completes our door-shaped bookmark. That's all for today. I hope you enjoyed the video. I'd love for you to subscribe if you haven't already and you can also follow me on Instagram at Dusty Hills. Thank you so much for watching. I love you guys and I'll see you next time.